I never cared for surprises. My meemaw, on the other hand, thought they were a hoot. And it's a good thing, because instead of finding the paper on her doorstep, she found... <laughs> what are you doing here? I wanted to surprise you. Mission accomplished. Oh, good. So how's everything going with your super collider? Well, up until Wednesday at 6.43, wonderful. What happened at 6.43? That's when they fired me. What? Why did they fire you? Eh, probably because of what happened at 6.14. So, Dr. Sturgis, what would you say to local residents who are concerned about the Super Collider's safety? Is there a chance that Waxahachie could be the next Chernobyl? Absolutely not. The Super Collider is very different from a nuclear power plant. This can't melt down. The worst it could do would be to create a microscopic black hole. And what would that do? Well, it's unlikely, but uh, it could grow until it swallowed up the entire Earth and possibly the moon. Next question. I've been doing science all my life. It, it, it's, it's time for something else. Like what? Maybe Scrimshaw? That's uh, carving art into whalebone. Why would I rehire him? He just caused a panic about the super collider. They say there's no such thing as bad publicity. That's a quote from P.T. Barnum. I don't care. Do you care that the P stood for Phineas? No. Then I won't tell you what the T stood for. Great. Taylor. Sheldon, Dr. Sturgis quit right before the semester started. He left me in the lurch. And this is your chance to be the bigger person. I don't want to be the bigger person. I'll be the small, petty person. That's way more fun. Please, it would make me really happy if he came back, and you said yourself my happiness is important to the university. Are you trying to manipulate me? Hey, being small and petty is fun. Anyway, Dr. Sturgis, we'd love to have you back here. <laughs> what do you mean, other job? What other job? Hi, Mary. Hey, John, what are you doing here? Well, I lost my job, so while I'm figuring things out, I'm a bag boy. Although, at my age, boy is pushing it. Aren't you a little overqualified? Very. Hey, why don't you join us for dinner this weekend? Sheldon would love to see you. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Clean up on aisle two. That's me. Madge, can you finish up here? I have a date with a mop. <laughs> He's really smart. I just hate to see him give up like this. Who are you talking about? Dr. Sturgis. Why'd he give up? Science. He's working at the grocery store. At least he didn't give up being weird. He is also coming over for dinner, so behave yourself. I can behave at school, or I can behave at home. I can't do both. So you work at the grocery store now? I do. Just out of curiosity, would you say I look 21? Mm, I suppose. And what nights do you work again? Not selling your beer. Well, of course not. 